I've already posted my top upcoming game releases of April, and you can check that video out if you like. But what about the weird and wacky games? Well, that's what this video is for, and I'm looking into the games that are sometimes awesome, sometimes pretty terrible, but always weird. And for this video, I'm not caring about how popular they could turn out to be. Let's get started. Subscribe if you like. If you've ever found yourself daydreaming about the good old days of the Nintendo 64, wondering what could have been if, say, Mario was turned into, for example, a yellow taxi, then this first game is definitely the one for you. It's called Yellow Taxi Goes Vroom, and I just love that name. A collectathon platforming game without a jump button. The aim here is to flip, dash, and bump your way to those shiny gold coins, and interact with the Pizza King and Ultra Chad along the way. What happens when you mix fantasy with comedy? Well, yet another fantasy title is a pretty good representation. A game in which you get to fight, cast spells, and then do some very unique quests, such as tossing a special ring into a lava pit. Seems familiar? Police chases on horseback remind me of Shrek, whilst all your classic fantasy themes are present, including orc and dwarf storylines. Not a game that's taking the genre too serious. Rooting, tooting, looting and shooting. Another cracking name, and another game that doesn't quite fit the mould. This is a twin shooting roguelike game that follows that super hot style of game mechanic where enemies move when you do in a turn based style that lets you choose the pace that you want to play at. Kill enemies to collect money, use money to buy new weapons, and then use the new weapons to take out some enemies. It's a capitalist stream and it just works. A souls like game with dark humour elements about a crab that is embarking on a quest to get back their repossessed shell. Yeah, you could say that fits the criteria of this video. This wacky 3D adventure game is set in a crumbling underworld with some pretty gangster looking characters. Without your trusty shell, you will need to use whatever trash you can find laying around and then learn some powerful combat moves from the characters you meet. Another crab's treasure has the potential to be awesome for sure. Scheming through the zombie apocalypse part two is coming and I'm honestly admitting here I missed part one so it may be worth checking that out first. But in this story driven game, you play as a couple of pals that want to effortlessly survive and thrive in some apocalyptic style conditions. And the best way to do that? It's simple, convincing some criminals to do the dirty work for you in exchange for a tidy cut of the profits. Yeah, this game is not going to be one to learn some morals from and could have some colorful language as well. Definitely different and full of laughs though. The weirdest aspect of Porgle definitely is the quirky looking animals that you will be helping along in this game, and any similarity to Peggle in terms of gameplay or name is clearly coincidental. In this pachinko game you will be helping to guide short sighted animal companions by placing blue pegs to help them succeed. That's definitely not a game concept I've encountered before. The last game I'm looking at here is called From Glory to Goo and is definitely not as weird in content and style as the other games that we've showcased. Its name is really, really cool though, so I'm giving it an honorable mention anyway. This game is a pixel art RTS set on an alien world and has so much going on within the screen sometimes that my eyes are blurring over a bit. Lots of aliens, giant lasers, and one's never ending need to keep the goo at bay. I've just talked over a bunch of awesomely wacky and weird games, Now's your turn to leave a comment about which game meets your list. 